Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a look at 10 beautiful lighthouses in Ireland. But before we jump into this one, if you're new here, I do have another main channel called All Things Ocean. If you like any content regarding beaches and oceans, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna like that channel as well. I'll put the link in the description below for you to check that one out. But back to today's video, let's take a look at these Irish lighthouses. Lighthouse was built around 800 years ago and is the oldest operational lighthouse in the world. There have been 109 keepers at this lighthouse in that very long history and the first group of people taking on the role of keepers here were actually a group of monks in the 13th century. They left the tower and were replaced by official light keepers in the 17th century. It's one of the most classic examples of medieval architecture in Ireland, standing four stories high at 115 feet tall. It was originally lit by a coal burning lantern way back in the day. This was eventually switched over to a whale oil lantern in 1791, then was changed to gas lights in 1871, and finally to electric lights in 1972. It became fully automated in 1996. The foghorn here was dismantled in 2011 as they felt it was no longer necessary due to the advanced technology of modern ships. In 2001, the old keeper's houses were turned into a visitor center and the light became open to visitors, making it one of Ireland's top tourist attractions. The Pullbag Lighthouse is a bright red granite tower that stands 66 feet tall. The original tower that stood in its place was built in 1767 and not as tall. It sloped more towards the top and had an octagonal lantern on top. It initially used candle power for lighting and then switched to oil in 1786. The tower was modified to the red one you see here today in the early 19th century. This lighthouse sits at the end of what's known as Poolbeg Lighthouse Walk, or officially known as the Great South Wall Walk, which is about a 20 minute drive from the city of Dublin. There are two versions of this walk, a short one and a long one, depending on your starting point. The short one takes about an hour to complete, while the longer one takes about two to two and a half hours. This lighthouse can be seen very easily from the sky as you fly into Dublin, so this walk is a cool way to go see it up close in person. The Fanet Head Lighthouse has been voted as one of the most beautiful lighthouses in the world. This lighthouse was first lit in 1817 after a ship had sunk in 1811 in the area where 254 lives were lost. This light is 22 meters high with 76 steps inside the tower and switched to electric light in 1975. It became fully automated in 1983 and became open to the public for tours in 2016. You can also book stays at the former Keeper's Quarters to get some first-hand experience of being on the grounds here. There are three different buildings in which you can stay that are available year-round. If you're interested in learning more about having a holiday here, then I'll put a link in the description below for you to check that out. Michael Skellig Island originally had two active light stations, an upper and a lower. They were both built around 1821, but the upper light was deactivated in 1870 as it was found to be too shrouded in fog most of the time. However, the lower light remained and became automated in 1987. It stands around 39 feet tall and is situated in a very isolated but beautiful location on this island. The island itself has a very extensive history dating back to the 6th century when the foundation of the monastery took place and was designated a World Heritage Site in 1996. The beautiful Bailey Lighthouse was built in 1814, is situated about 134 feet above sea level and stands 43 feet tall. It overlooks Dublin Bay and the grounds hold a keeper's house and two assistant keeper's houses, which were built around 1892. This lighthouse became automated in 1996 and the last keeper left officially in early 1997. But there is still an attendant that remains on site in the event of any technical issues. In 2000, a small museum was set up in one of the former keeper's residences, which holds various artifacts gathered from retired staff. The lighthouse itself, however, is not open to the public, unfortunately. This lighthouse isn't quite as old as some of the others on this list. It was built in 1968, stands about 23 feet tall, and sits about 272 feet above sea level. It became fully automated in 1993. Although the lighthouse itself is closed to the public, there is a beautiful walking and hiking trail here called Sheep's Head Lighthouse Loop, which is four kilometers of vast ocean views around the area and will take you about two hours to complete. 
The Fastnet Lighthouse sits at the most southerly point in Ireland. The original structure here began operation in 1854, and the version you see today is what replaced it in 1904. Standing at 177 feet tall, it's the tallest lighthouse in Ireland. But because of its location in the sea, it's been feared by many mariners as low clouds and heavy winds make navigating around it quite difficult. This light is also known as Ireland's teardrop, as it was the last part of Ireland that many 19th century emigrants would see as they left for North America. The first tower-style lighthouse at this site was built in 1802, but was replaced with a newer tower nearby in 1854. In 1971, the light was converted to electric mode and became fully automated in 1991. It stands 75 feet tall with a range of 23 nautical miles. It sits within the Loophead Peninsula, which was recently voted as one of the best places to vacation in Ireland, and this area also attracts geologists from all around the world. One of the former keeper's cottages here is available as accommodation if you wanted to stay here for a few days, and guided tours through the lighthouse are available. However, at the time of recording this video today, the tower actually is closed at the moment for renovations. The Blackhead Lighthouse was built in 1902 and was originally painted red, but in 1929 they repainted it to white. In 1965, the light source was converted to electric, and there was a fog signal here for many years, but it got discontinued in 1972. The station became automated in 1975, at which point the keepers were removed from the station, and in their place came a part-time attendant. This light has guided many famous vessels during Belfast's golden age of shipping, including the Titanic. The restored lightkeepers' houses now serve as a place of accommodation for visitors, in which you can book a stay if you want to experience being on the grounds of a lighthouse for a few days. And again, if you're interested in maybe staying at this one in the future, I'll put a link in the description below for you to look into that a little more. This lighthouse was built in 1824, and the lens here was gas-operated until 1979 when it became electrified. This light had full-time keepers up until 1929 when it then became automated. The interior received some renovations in 1931, including a cantilevered spiral staircase and cast iron internal doors, to name a few. But after 187 years of service, this lighthouse was officially deactivated in 2011. So that's it for the top 10 for this video. Obviously, Ireland has far more lighthouses than what I can cover in just one video, obviously. So this is 10 for you, so I hope you liked it. If you did, please do give the video a like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Just make sure you actually hit that bell notification to get notified when I do upload a new video. So thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.